welcome back to my channel and welcome to another model week and today as you've probably seen from the title it's about cruelty free products what's i got to do with modeling i'm gonna sneak it in but essentially beauty and health is related to modeling is that an excuse to include it i don't know but i feel like it's a fun topic to talk about and i want to just include it in there as you know from the title i've gone and tried being cruelty free for i believe a year where i was only attempting to get cruelty free products back when i learned about unethical experimentation placed on animals i was like that is crazy cruel and gross animals do not need to go through that just for beauty products as an example i just didn't want to contribute to that so i was attempting my best to go for cruelty free products it just empowered me to make a change in stuff i was buying and i realized so many of my products were not cruelty free i was gonna change that and here are my thoughts i'm not sure about including a goofy intro this time around because this is a serious topic so i'm just gonna show you snuggle toy llama who's gonna comfort me as i do this video so like I said, around 2021, I'm going to estimate that's when I started to go cruelty free because I saw all these videos and things explaining the actual process behind it. It's not just put lipstick on pigs. It's not like that at all. Like literally just injecting animals. I was like, hell no, I don't want to contribute to this disgusting system. And so I just went ahead and literally deep research researched researched everything every single product beauty products skincare products everything in that range i was looking up everything there was this website i found called cruelty free kitty who lists like every brand that's beauty and they tell you if they're cruelty free or not i wanted to try my absolute best to get at least the majority of my products to be cruelty free that i used every day so the main question here is obviously how was it well I'm going to tell you the positives and the negatives and spoiler alert there's a lot more negatives than there are positives let's get right into it the overarching positive is of course these aren't products that are tested on animals they are tested in some other method that isn't on animals peter and leaping bunny those organizations they put a stamp on a brand and they're like this is cruelty free you just feel better knowing it's not being tested on animals. A lot of the times the products are all natural and vegan friendly. If you don't want to be cruel to animals nor eat them, then this is like perfect for you. You get it all in one. To put it up in a nice little bow, they tend to donate to charities, like the funds you put into buying the product, sometimes they go off to different charities. For example, like period products, sometimes they donate to women's period charities in unfortunate countries that don't have access to as many products and period poverty actually things like that charities that associate with what they're selling makes you feel good knowing that other people are as well going to get a benefit from you buying this product and not just the company itself the packaging of most products are actually pretty cute like you can tell they're just done with extra love and care big brand that sells multiples of something and their branding has gone a lot more simplified whereas when you get like cruelty free products some of them when they're like a very niche company they have such nicer appearance to look at it's something that like just decorative on your shelf you can tell just more care is being put into it and it's more appealing for the consumer to buy this product again referring back to period products oftentimes they can be reusable like period panties you can wear them more than once and you just wash them and use them again without needing to buy any more those were genuinely like the only positives i can really think about this to summarize you know it's all natural you know it's not harming animals yada yada cute packaging <laughs> you know it's doing good for other people and animals as well as doing good for yourself with these natural products you get me now onto the negatives oh this is a whole essay over here so the main issue i found is they are really expensive why do they need me to make it so expensive just to guarantee it's not hurting other animals we have to spend more on something naturally if you're a sane human being who doesn't want to hurt animals or anyone you don't want animal cruelty to exist nor unintentionally contribute to it but why do they have to make it so difficult to be able to buy it with the current state of the planet today so if like you could get a normal deodorant for like one pound but then you get a deodorant from wild and it's like eight pounds for the case four pound for the deodorant sometimes six so that's in total 
mental maths. Mm -hmm. One pound versus 14 pound deodorant. Taking away the case after you've bought it. One pound versus six pound. This is just stirring people away from actually being able to help. It's probably not these companies' fault. No, actually. Screw it. It is their fault. Why do they have to make it so expensive? Another thing is you get less product or more money you're paying for it, which... Oh, why? For example, again, we're gonna roll back to Wild. We did a review on them on TikTok. I'll probably post a review on YouTube Reels as well. You get just a tiny pack of deodorant, whereas you can get a formal can of spray deodorant for one pound, whereas this small block... I don't know how long it lasts but it feels like it isn't really giving much. So you get a lot less for what you pay for. Sometimes the quality isn't even to its best standard. Like period pads, they feel more natural, but they feel thinner. I feel like they wouldn't be able to hold as much. The sticky bit of the pad that's meant to stick under the underwear, it doesn't stick properly, it's so weak. It feels unfair when you're paying that much for it that is not to its best standard, you know? Oftentimes, like niche companies that are selling these cruelty-free products, they have a small shelf space. And so many times I've gone into Boots to try and get some period pads and it was all out of stock. Please help me out here. They don't stock up enough in the stores. It feels like it's a lot harder to access to at times. And also, so many products are really difficult to buy in your own country. I'm in the UK right now and the majority of these products are in the US. So you've got to pay even more for shipping and stuff just to get this product. They need to be more worldwide and accessible to people. Americans stop hogging. Or in this case, British people make more cruelty free products, please. <laughs> get this as well. Sometimes they lie. Even when the product says it's cruelty free, they lie. From what research I found, especially on cruelty free kitty, if it's a product that's shipped to China and sold in China, it's not gonna be cruelty free apparently they have a law you have to test on animals to allow this product to be sold in their country what and so if there's a brand that's very worldwide and they're selling in china they're not going to be cruelty free even if everywhere else they're sold they're not testing on animals but if it's sold to china they're no longer cruelty free and that links with the fact not enough brands are contributing to being cruelty free they stick the label on some of them but then they don't commit to that not enough brands are hopping onto it and helping out the environment not testing on animals and that's such a shame it's inaccessible to a lot of us to be able to get these products to seal it all off there's just so much researching to go into this just to search up a product that's not going to kill an animal like i couldn't walk into a shop find a moisturizer and be like i'm gonna use that moisturizer i had to google search every little thing to find a product that was not going to test on animals and was a good product because a lot of these products they don't test on animals but the product can be shite i own this primer not tested on animals it was so bad the bottle felt extremely light and it was really hard to squeeze product out because there was barely any product in it at the end when i put it on my face it doesn't feel good. It's a real shame when things like that happen, that you're spending more on something that is potentially meant to be better, not only for animals and other people, but for yourself. And it doesn't even work. So you can't even freely go and buy stuff without having deep researched it on the internet. This is pretty much the end of the negatives. I'm gonna start talking about companies. <laughs> As much as I've seen we as a society helping contribute to a better life for everyone, it made me realise we are just a small percentage to being able to help the world. When there's these big corporations with a lot of power who are the main contributors to the damage these things are causing to the planet, they are the real ones that need to make the difference. 99% of help would happen if these big brands and corporations would do something compared to us, like the 1% of general public who have practically zero power even if we like all banded together not as much could be done unless we're like a gazillion air company as much as we want to buy cruelty free stuff they aren't helping us they're making stuff more expensive so it's harder for us to actually help we're just forced to buy the cheaper stuff because that's what we can afford we got to help ourselves first and they're just putting the attention away from the bigger picture which is them sort of stopping us to help everyone by making us sort of struggle with ourselves as well keep us low so then we stay low and we can't get to them the companies really need to change their regulations and actually focus on what the people want <sighs> anyway you guys have money 
and power. This is why people don't like millionaires. Yeah. You get this money from unethical ways. Enough political stuff. Let's talk about can someone be cruelty free for the long run? In a circumstance where someone is earning a good living, their wages are paying off their apartment or house, all these bills and extra stuff, and they have enough to pay for more luxurious stuff, then cruelty free living would probably be a piece of piss. But let's be realistic here. The main majority of us probably could not sustain this for the long run. It's really unrealistic in these trying times, especially in the UK with Brexit, inflation, housing just going to shite. A lot of contributing factors that aren't gonna help us do this extra way. And it's not selfish at all to focus on ourselves when we have money struggles and stuff like that. That's not what I'm saying. It's just we don't get a chance to even focus on other problems when we ourselves are struggling just to maintain a steady life. You get these products just for like a little treat for yourself. Like if you're getting a lush bath bomb, it can work for the long run if it's just like little treats here and there, but continuously getting your main products as cruelty free, it feels almost like a really rough task to do in this world right now. So really that summarizes essentially what I think of it as well. I don't think this is something I could be able to continue doing and it's an absolute shame because I love my babies. I love them. I would never want my dog to get tested on. I'd never want any dog to get tested on. A sad thing to see in the world these animals get treated so badly just for our pleasure. So guys, that was my video for today. This felt like an on the whim kind of video. I was like, you know what? Let's talk about something that I can relate to a lot. Potentially help other people by giving input on what my experience has been. If you are using cruelty free products, thank you for helping the world. Hopefully that's something you are economically able to sustain for the long run. For those who aren't using cruelty free products, that's again absolutely fine. We can't help it. Even if it's not your choice, please don't get yourself too concerned about it. It's a horrible thing that's happening in this world and it's one of those things where it feels impossible to solve because we don't have as much power to be able to solve it. If this has inspired you to get cruelty free products, again, like I'm really happy that you've chosen this life. You'll feel a lot nicer knowing that these products aren't harming animals. Just obviously keep in mind, do your research. Just do what you are able to do. Thank you for watching this video. If you've stuck around for this long, please subscribe to my channel. I do more videos where I talk about modeling, just health and beauty in general. My next video will be for art week. Please leave a like below if you enjoyed this video today. Leave a like for Lama. I'll see you guys after my holiday. I'll see you guys soon. I love you all.